everyone i'm barefaced today i'm gonna do a get ready with me so first things first i'm going to use my primer and moisturizers i'm testing out a new foundation today this is the Givenchy prism libre skin clearing caring glow foundation and i'm gonna use my favorite primers with it because i don't want to um i want to be able to see what i what i think about this foundation so i'm going to start off with the refer moisturizer been really digging this. This definitely feels like the closest thing I have to the Dominate Cosmetics primer, which if you saw my community post, I actually, it popped back online on Sephora. Cra like it had been gone from Sephora for God knows how long and it just randomly showed up. I was just browsing the sales section just to double check what was there while I was filling out my cart and it just appeared out of nowhere and it was half off. So it's $14. So if it's still there and you guys like it too, please definitely go ahead and pick, your, pick yourself up a backup because I don't know when it's gonna leave again and I don't know after that it might not ever come back. I don't know where Sephora got those from. I'll be honest. Um, it's the only thing from her brand on that from her brand that's on Sephora's website right now. It looks like the last of the berries and cream stuff has finally gone away. But yeah, I was really surprised. So of course I bought another one. I was gonna buy two, but I thought to myself, by the time I run through the second one, the third one might expire. Cause like, even if you don't open it, I feel like it would eventually go bad even if unopened. So I just bought a second one and I figured by the time I run through the second one, maybe, maybe the makeup industry will finally have something new that's similar. I mean, cause you know, makeup comes out all the time. So I just I, this moisturizer is really nice very lightweight it's um it's getting to be that season around here so then i'm gonna use the pat mcgrath primer this is my favorite pore covering oil controlling primer for the spring and summer months and fall too because i mean i live in the south um and i just rubbed this all over my t-zone and i especially focus it on my nose and the inner part some people have like a, a uppercase t and other people have like a lowercase t so i have a i definitely have a lowercase t so that's where i focus most of it and then i do want to put some on my chin and then i just put the the rest very small amount up here much more hydrating than even professional hydrating so i like this i during her glitch sale i bought another backup so i've gone through one this is my second and now i have a third waiting in the wings and then lastly for under my eyes i always use this i think she is i think her i think her youtube personality is entertaining enough for me but this is a really good product and it just literally my under eyes are so dry and this just has completely rescued my under eyes and my eyelids so i just keep using it i really wanted to try the bobbi brown one but i can't deal with fragrance and surprisingly this is not fragranced this is basically the best under eye primer i've ever tried ever period so unless something better comes along that is also not fragranced we're gonna keep using this which i'm actually almost out of so i'll need to get another one soon and that's gonna be my face primed so now i'm gonna go in with this it's in the shade n80 which is the lightest shade i'm concerned it's going to be a little bit pink so i thought to myself 95 probably would be better for the glowy one but the shade that this person was selling was 80 and for the price i was like whatever it's not going to be that much of a difference um and plus when the foundation is very glowy i do notice when it's brighter than your skin over the course of the day it kind of wears a lot better than if it's the match of your skin um and then you know it's fine, we'll make it work. Um, the matte foundation, I messed up my basket and I got that in the shade 80, to 80 as well, so we'll see. Um, so just as a disclaimer, I do use foundation that's anywhere from half to a quarter shade lighter than my actual skin tone. I concentrate it in the center of my face and then I just, and then I, as you can see, I thin it out towards the outer part of my face so it doesn't look like I have like a white mask. You're welcome to have your opinion on that. I understand everybody has their opinions on foundation shades. But that's just what I do, especially because um, if I have trouble finding foundations that fit my undertone and I can't find a perfect shade match to match my undertone, it looks much better on me to step up instead of step down. Because I can always use my favorite contour and bronzer products to get the outside of my face to match my neck, but I do not, I hate using copious amounts of concealer to lighten up the middle. I would rather use foundation to accomplish that and then use, um, bronzer and contour to kind of sculpt out the rest of my face. We all have our own methods of getting foundation to work if it's not a perfect match. So this went on really, th like, it felt so moisturizing, like it felt like a really nice cream lotion as I was putting it on. If I, I I'm gonna kind of, if I rub it on my hand, it just feels, you can kind of see on my hand how soft and silky it is rubbing out on my hand. 
so nice. It's not super runny, but it really thins out as you rub it in. So it's definitely a texture I really enjoy. Um, the coverage is, I would say, medium. I was expecting it to have maybe light coverage, so this is a really pleasant surprise for me. And oh my gosh, it feels amazing. Now, as with many luxury foundation products, it does have a fragrance, but the reason I can tolerate it is because it's nowhere near as strong as Bobbi Brown Face Base, which is kind of my metric for that's too much fragrance for me. So if it doesn't smell as strong as Face Base, I can handle it, but if it smells like Face Base, then uh, no. So initially I was gonna buy the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream during the sale, but some of the reviews were saying it's really fragrance like the Face Base, and I was like, oh, we can't have that here. So yeah, as you can see, um, if I kind of go back, you can see it's about half a shade too light for me, but I'm gonna fix a lot of that with contour and as you can see with me kind of letting the outside of my face have almost no product on it, it really helps to de-emphasize the match. I did pump out like a pump and a half and that's too much. I think just one pump or three quarters of a pump in the future for me will be good. I also, the, also, the other reason I didn't mind getting this in N80 is because my other favorite foundations that I use like the Estee Lauder and the Hera, they're, um, back when I first got them, I was a little bit more tan than I am now, so mixing this in is going to adjust the tone in a way that I like, and I don't think, I think if anything, it'll make the formula even better. Here's what it looks like on my skin. It looks really nice. You can kind of see there. I have the ISO set to 125 now. I used to have it at like 140. I think that was too much. I turned it down to 125. And if I'm filming during the day, I think it looks fine now. I think this really lets you guys see what it looks like on my skin. Cause I'm not trying to go for a beauty shot. I really want you guys to see how things lay on my skin. Like I, I'm, I don't want to hide my texture or anything. So my skin's kind of gnarly. I have a couple red spots, but they're not, none of the individual spots are bad, but all together it's like my skin's a little bit spotty today but and i used my shop miss a sponge which i'm gonna have to make a separate video about this about my favorite sponges but i the og pink beauty beauty blenders i bought i i don't like as much as i thought i did okay so we're gonna move on from that i'm gonna put on my favorite concealer as usual i'm trying to remember to color correct before i put on everything but i just have trouble remembering which is why i don't use my color correcting products but definitely i want to make that a priority i finally <laughs> found my clinique concealer brush uh, it was hiding under a pile of stuff so i'm just gonna go in with some concealer you can see the difference how well this covers everything. And this concealer is going on really well on top of my base and my foundation. So wow, this foundation currently has me in shock of how beautiful it is and how good it feels. It just feels so good on my skin. I hadn't heard many people talk about the Givenchy new skin caring foundations. Uh, on the, I know a lot of people were really excited about all the other foundation releases that came out like NARS Light Reflecting, Charlotte Tilbury's Beautiful Skin Foundation and stuff like that. Those got a lot more buzz, but honestly, I was way more excited for these when I heard these were coming out. I had been wanting for the longest time to get the Guerlain Essential Foundations in both matte and luminous. Um, the only reason I never did is because the matte one is from Selfridges only, as far as I can tell. If I ever have the spare budget, I will definitely go buy them. Probably go just go ahead and get Selfridges Plus as well because shipping is really expensive. That's why I never get the, that's why I really hate getting things from Selfridges. The shipping is a flat $30 and it's a lot and I honestly should have just gotten Selfridges Plus a long time ago so I wouldn't feel so bad about it. So we'll see. Um, but the Givenchy Prism Skin Caring Foundations in the Glow and the Matte really reminded me of the Guerlain ones that came out, I think a year and a half or two years ago or something like that. But of course they were a lot more accessible because you can get them both on Sephora in the US. So that's why I got the Matte one and I wasn't gonna get the Glow one because they are, you know, they're, they're expensive. But then I saw, of course, someone was on selling it on Reddit. So I was like, well, don't mind if I do. Honestly, I think my skin looks so good. I am in love with this. The pore coverage isn't as good as other foundations I've used, but it is very luminous. So of course it's not gonna completely cover my pores. Now I will say my pores I think look good, all things considered, because of my Pat McGrath primer. I'm just in love with how this looks. This is such a beautiful foundation and it does actually dry down to not feel super sticky on my fingers. So I'm touching my skin and it actually feels really nicely set down on the outside. So it's not like some other luminous foundations I've tried where they stay sticky all day unless you set them. All right, so as I said earlier, 
this foundation is a bit too light so i am going to go ahead and contour this this is amazing and i don't regret buying this one bit the charlotte tilbury easy contour contour wand oh my gosh i like actually can't get enough of how good this is yeah i don't know it just this is so good and it blends out really easily so i just i really just can't believe how good of a product this is it's so easy to use it doesn't disturb my base and it blends out to a really light color that is not super cool but it's not too warm so it it works for me as kind of a bronzer contour hybrid so i'm putting on a little more than usual today since my foundation is a little bit light so i'm just going to really use this to kind of correct the outer perimeter of my face so that i don't look i don't look like a k-pop idol if you know you know so this is the side with it and this is the side with nothing i think you can really see the difference here as usual or in particular, I don't know why I said that. And I, I just love this product. I am so glad I bought this, but oh my gosh, this product, I understand now why it went viral and it's so easy to use. Like I've always thought to myself that I'm not the kind of person skilled enough to use liquid products. They seemed really intimidating, but this is so easy. And I really wish that aside from her spotlight wands and aside from her contour wands, if she made liquid blush shades in the exact same natural matte formula as her contour wands, she would bankrupt me. She would actually bankrupt me because that would just, that would just make, I would like actually lose my mind and have to buy those immediately. And I really try my best to not recommend high-end products to people because they're so expensive. But if you have been looking for a contour in this formula, this is really, really good. And I don't think anyone one would be disappointed now my face is looking a little bit more dimensional um i don't look as mask like which is good so we're gonna move on from here i wish i had more forehead but that's okay i might actually break this into two separate videos i'll just powder kind of under my eyes first and we'll see what to do from there because i don't actually know what i want to do under my eyes yet or with my blush yet i don't know if i want it to be cream or not so i'll just use my pat mcgrath blurring under eye powder i need to use this more often i'm just going to take a very tiny amount and just use that to make sure my under eye concealer doesn't budge and I'll also go ahead and just kind of make sure my nose is mattified and anywhere else on my face I feel like needs to be. I'm trying to remember to use that one more often. I'm gonna go in with my NARS Smudge Proof eyeshadow base. I want to see how these shadows perform on top of this. This is kind of, this is probably gonna be the primer I use more often during the summer when it's really hot and humid. I don't like running the AC on full blast because it's so expensive and it just, I just feel like I'm like destroying the environment and single-handedly causing climate change when I do that. So my house, the inside of the house can sometimes get pretty humid during the day when it's summer. So this is probably going to be a primer you see me using a lot more often as it starts becoming summer and I'm having to film and make sure my makeup is like unbreakable even inside. Because now that I film upstairs, upstairs does get hotter than downstairs. I still don't really know where I want my permanent filming station to be, but whatever. And so I'm going to let that set. And while I let that set, the eyebrows are going to go on. I'm using the Morphe Micro Brow, Brow Pencil. But for the sake of this video, brevet, I'm gonna, I really don't want this video to be like 40 minutes long. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop the camera here. And when I come back, my brows will be on and we'll just go straight into the eyes. And that should save a little, that'll save like a minute, you know? Okay, so I ended up having to split the complexion and the eyeshadow into separate videos. So if you want to see this eyeshadow look, just click on the video that I'll link down below in the description box because I really wanted to be able to talk thoroughly about the complexion I was putting on, but then at the same time, the video would have been like 40 to 45 minutes because the eyeshadow look ended up being pretty intricate. So to recap, I used the Givenchy Prism Libre Skin Carrying Glow Foundation. Really, really pretty. And then I also... I did use the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand and fair medium. So those are kind of the two products that really got shown off in the complexion video. And this is my finished face of makeup. So as you can see, everything laid down really well. This is my skin texture after everything. I used the Jaclyn blush stick and as my blush, I used a powder highlighter on top from Flower Nose, and then I set everything with the Jaclyn Last Act Translucent Setting Powder, which I opened it and it literally exploded everywhere, so I must have dropped it at some point and it's broken now, but still fully functional. So that's what the skin is looking like. I love how this looks. It's been about an hour and a half since my makeup got put on. 
everything looks fine. I'm gonna just spray on some setting spray and yeah, and the check again, check out the pin comment for how this foundation wore. Yeah, so far I like it. I think this foundation is gonna work out really well with me. Again, my skin is very dry, so generally I don't have wear issues, but with how humid it's becoming, we'll see. I might go on a walk this evening, so that'll also kind of help show how this wears. I hope you guys enjoyed this very brief complexion video. I usually don't split my video into videos into two like this, but honestly, it really would have just been so long and I wanted to give a thorough demo of all the products I put on my complexion and then also let the eyeshadow video kind of stand out on its own as well. So definitely if you want to see the full look, just watch the, the complexion video and then watch the eyeshadow video and you'll more or less get everything I put on. I hope that this video helped you guys. I love this foundation so far and I think this is going to be definitely within my preferences. That's all I really have to say. Uh, I love the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. If you get it, you won't be disappointed. Genuinely, genuinely love this product. So I'll see you in the next video. Hope this was helpful. Bye-bye.